Hey, it's day zero of this vacation and <laughs> oh my gosh, when I tell you a story time is totally worth it, a story time is totally worth it. So if you can tell I'm in bed and I'm still on the vacation um, because I didn't really start feeling not good until like I left. And I don't know if it's because of the mountainistic, like mountains or whatever, because I'm up in the mountains. And when I tell you, my throat is killing me. My throat is killing me. Um, so I'm in bed, I've been relaxing. Um, and oh my gosh, story time. So the vacation started off just fine. Okay, so we started off first thing in the morning where. Um, I went ahead and got to the airport like one time on time, but I was freaking myself out because I think I, I, I was thinking I was making myself feel like I was going to be late um, because I did not get to the, I didn't get there on time like I wanted to as far as like the timing, but I still was I was on time still. Um, so what I ended up doing was on the way to the airport, I needed to go to ATM because I was like, okay. I know here in Puerto Rico, there are a lot of places where it's cash only. Like, you need to have cash. And so, <clears throat> I was like, okay, let me go to ATM, get some cash out, so we're good to go. Did that, right? Cool. Um, well, I didn't do that on the way to the airport like I thought I was going to do. It, so, that's what caused me to be late because I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm not going to be able to get this at the airport. Because last time I flew and at this particular airport midway... Um, they still were under construction, so a lot of stuff literally wasn't there. Like, ATMs at food court, it was not really together like that. But now everything is finally there. So I did all that for nothing, because I actually got there and got to the food court. I was able to get my money, and it was fine. And all to the races we go. Um, so my first flight was from Chicago to Tampa. Had, like, a two-and-a-half-hour layover, um, which was perfect, because I got to eat lunch got to relax, ended up talking, kicking at the people at the bar. And I was good then. And then when I got on the airplane <laughs> to get to Puerto Rico is when I was starting to not feel good. I want you to keep that in mind. I was good until then. Um, I had lunch and I had two beers. That's it. It wasn't ridiculous. It was not a control. i um, having a good time. And then once I got on the airport, I got in the, on the plane on my way to Puerto Rico. And the Puerto Rico flight was a long flight, by the way. It was like, it felt, it was like two and a half hours, which feels like a long time for me anyway. And I had to use the restroom, like quite a bit, out of nowhere. So my fluids were not staying with me like they normally do. And my throat was starting to bother me. And I was really cold, like ridiculously cold because of playing because we're in Florida, it's in the 80s, right? And so we're going somewhere that's even warmer in, in the 80s. And the, uh, like, Tampa's like 82, Puerto Rico's like 86, feeling like 91. Like, humidity, like, humidity was ridiculous, right? And I normally would feel that kind of stuff, but I was so cold because they kept all of the, um, they kept all the sun out of the air, airplane. And they just had the air conditioning full blast. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting sick. <laughs> I'm someone who does not do well with a lot of air conditioning. Like, it really bothers me. I hate when people put the air conditioning full blast. And so I had, like, a sweater on, mind you, and, like, a, a maxi dress. And I still was getting cold. And I was like, okay, this is... <laughs> I'm hoping I can hurry to get to where I need to go to in a decent time, and it'll be fine, right? And I did get there. I got to Puerto Rico, got my rental car, cool, cool, cool. All that was pretty quick, like seriously, actually. Um, and I was so happy about that. The rental car was seamless. The getting that was so seamless. And the only thing was, child, that car was kind of jinky. I ain't gonna hold you. Like as far as like um, a lot of like cosmetic, like scrapes or whatever so I took pictures of all of that sent that to my rent car company 
fine. No, nothing else I need to do. And then after that, off I went. So then, um, of course, now that I'm driving, trying to get to where I need to go, which is the Airbnb. Uh, well, these are places I need to go. I need to go to Walgreens, get food, at Airbnb. Because now my mission was, I just want to get all my things at Walgreens, like water and all that stuff. Um, and then, like, you know, the traveling kit stuff. But side note, I didn't even need it because Airbnb has all, the tr like, the travel kit stuff. But you never know. So I was like, let me just go ahead and get all that. And then, of course, once I get to Walgreens, it starts raining. And when I mean kind of raining, I mean raining, raining, like torrential downpour type stuff. So, <laughs> hi. Um, yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit better, actually, because I got plenty of sleep last night. Um, well, because, by the way, yeah, I lied. Originally, I said this was day zero. I'm recapping day zero. This is actually day one of the vacation. It's like super early in the morning. It's like six something in the morning. And which is really actually five something central time. But I went to sleep at 930 <laughs> last night. I was so tired. I was out like a light. But let's let's be going it back and let's explain what happened next. So torrential downpour in Puerto Rico, for those who are not as familiar, that's no bueno. No bueno. And so... I had to switch plans like immediately, expeditiously, because I did my research. I'd never been here before, but I had done my research. There are not a lot of main roads, roads once you're out of San Juan. And I knew where I was getting to is kind of remote. Like where I'm at right now is so remote, which is perfect because I slept like a baby last night. But like it's very, very remote. Super remote. I'm going to give you like a little bit of a tour once I like I'm like up and moving actually. Um, but anyway, it's super remote and that's exactly what I wanted because I was thinking, I even had it back in my head too, if the weather was not perfect, um, cause I had a feeling the weather was going to not be so great. Um, about the time I got this trip going cause I looked at the weather ahead of time and it is supposed to rain a lot while I'm here. Um, but it's too late. Like I, I was going to go. <laughs> so I kind of booked my Airbnbs, and this is a pro tip for all y'all who travel, especially travel solo. Book your Airbnbs where they're beautiful and awesome so that no matter what, even if you can't do all the outdoor stuff you want to do, your Airbnb is still worth it. And when I tell you the Airbnb that I'm at is worth it, it is, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. So it's raining, like horribly raining, like torrential downpour raining. I was almost kind of concerned that I was going to start hailing. It was like one of those. And mind you, um, outside of like the outer area of like Puerto Rico, when you're going through the middle to get to where you need to go, because I had to get down to like the southeastern part of Puerto Rico, and I'll put the name of the city here, um, or town, um, it's mountainous. So there's a lot of rolling hills and a lot of just like back roads. The state roads are back roads. They're not, they're not marked very well. Um, and also too, when it's raining, it's even worse. And it's two lanes, but the two lanes are like very, very like small. So you have to drive like about 25 miles per hour. Um, which side note, that's kind of confusing too. Um, because the miles per hour for speed limits is the miles per hour, but like everything else sign signage wise is, um, kilometers. Make it make sense. <laughs> I was confused by that because in Canada, everything's kilometers. So you can at least just do the math and you just realize everything's kilometers and you just w look at the odometer based off of kilometers. But the speed limit is miles, but then the, Everything else is kilometers. <laughs> also, too, for those who've never been here before, Puerto Rico is very Spanish speaking. And I didn't know that. I'm finding that right now, which is fine because I got my translator thing ready to go. And I used to speak Spanish pretty well. Um, I just don't remember the words and stuff anymore. So whenever I need to translate things, I just like look at things. I'm like, oh gosh, okay. So, anyway. 
Walgreens, fine. Got everything I needed. Even got like a little umbrella because I was like, okay, if it's going to be raining like this, I need to make sure I have an umbrella and stuff like that. Fine, fine, fine. I'm realizing right away the rain's getting worse. And my Airbnb that I'm staying at is an hour and a half away. And I still got to get there somehow. And at this point now, it is five something. And then get there before it's dark. Which, by the way, I failed. <laughs> that did not happen. Um, so I was like, okay. But I need food now. Like, I, I need to eat. And I was like, okay. At first, I was like, okay, let me try to some, get some Puerto Rican food or whatever. No. Girl, no. Right away, I was like, this is, this is stupid. Don't even try that. Instead... I was like, let me find just something that'll get the job done. Because, but mind you, and this is something I hope you all are mindful of. When it's day zero of a trip, it's day zero. So your vacation doesn't start until day one anyway. I mean, that's really the mindset you should have. Because if you try to rush yourself and try to do everything the first day of the trip, when you first get there, it can be a disaster. And you can end up basically making yourself pretty disappointed because things like this happen. You know, um, I've had situations where I didn't get my rental car on time. There's been situations where I couldn't even get my rental car. Like, you, be- you got to be prepared for those type of things. Day zero is truly day zero for you to get your faculties and stuff settled in. And the mission is to get the things you need, get the transportation, whether it be getting the rental car or lifting to your destination and getting to the Airbnb and settling in. That should be your whole entire mission day one. And all that safely. <laughs> so that was my... Okay. Goal. So um, from there, I realized right away I need to go to Wendy's. So I just went to Wendy's. <laughs> it's oldie but goodie. Gets the job done. And side note, yeah, pescatarian diet. We're not doing that right now because I'm on vacation. And also because I need food. So we're going to go get food. So I went ahead and got the food, right? Um, Well, that sounds simple, right? No, it wasn't. Mind you, this Wendy's was backed up. But I'm like, I'm already here. I'm committing to it. Did I tell you, if I I was at this drive-thru for like an hour. Okay, maybe it wasn't hours. Maybe like 30 minutes. But it was. I was at this drive-thru for 30 minutes. It really was 30 minutes, like legit, legitimately. And because, again, it's still torrential downpouring, I'm not getting out of the car at this point. If I'm already not feeling well physically because I feel like I'm getting sick, I'm not going to go outside in the rain, right? Okay. And also, too, it's already really dark because it's storming so bad that it made the sky super dark. So I was like, okay. I got there to order. This lady does not speak a lick of English. None. So I had a, so fortunately the combos are numbered. And I was like, okay, I'll tell you, like, siete. I was like, siete, 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 siete. She's like, okay, okay. The chicken, the, the, the chicken, I'm like, yes, yes. What size? I'm like, Medino, m- like Medino, like me, me, and medium. It's just like okay, okay, okay. Um, because I realized I didn't realize right away, but then I realized, oh shit, she really can't speak English. <laughs> and so then, trying to order a side Caesar was comical because I don't know those words anymore. Like I do not know how to say side Caesar because I was like salad. She's like, do you want salad or the fries? I was like both. Oh, you want to slice out on, on, in addition to the fries? I'm like, yes. She didn't say it quite like that. It was very broken English. And I was like, yeah, I want both. Do you want bacon on your salad? No. <laughs> Do you want meat on your salad? No. I just want the salad. Because I knew, you know, if the weather was going to be like this, I needed to have some food for even breakfast time too or something. That way if I'm stuck where I'm at, I'm stuck. It's fine. No big deal. Because what I'm, what I say where I'm staying at is pretty remote. It's pretty remote, but that's what I wanted. Okay, so I'm not complaining because I really just wanted to rest. <laughs> I've been so tired and stressed the past couple years. <laughs> this is the vacation I needed. But anyway, so from there, um, 
Hold on. We'll go to the I get to the window to pay. And she at least now has someone who can speak English there because she she knew, okay, this is going to be rough. I, because I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I was like, um, so I basically said, I'm sorry in Spanish. And I was like, mi español es muy malo. Like, <laughs> it sucks. Like, I, I straight up said, like, I am so sorry. I'm like, lo siena, uh, like, lo siena, mi, mi, mi español es muy, muy, like, malo. Like, it, it sucks. It's not good. <laughs> and um, they were cracking up. Both of them were laughing. I was like, I am so sorry. They are like, it's all good. It's all good. I'm like... I was not even supposed to come here. I was going to go and get, like, some, you know, Puerto Rican food or whatever. But, like, it started raining really bad. He's like, the weather is bad, bad. I'm like, I know. Because the guy who was there, he could speak English. Um, but she understood because I think she actually speaks Spanglish. So, which was fine. I'm like, perfect. Because I can do Spanglish. I can I can manage to talk some Spanglish now. I can, take, I can speak some broken Spanish and English. I, I, I'm good at that. Now, I still haven't figured out what type of Spanglish they speak here. Because I think Miami, it's a little bit more Spanglish, but it's like way more fluid. But anyway, so I'm like, okay, yeah. Mind you, I forgot to mention the driving there. The driving there was interesting because, you know, all the signs are in Spanish. The stop signs in Spanish. Like the turn only, the turn only sign... The turn only is in Spanish. Like, everything's in Spanish. There's no <clears throat> English as far as, like, driving directions when you're driving. So if you really don't know Spanish, like, at all, um, Godspeed. <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you. For me, I still know it. Like, it's coming back as I'm, like, as I was driving, things were coming back. I was like, oh, I remember this <laughs> Because, again, I used to be able to speak Spanish. I just haven't used the skill in such a long time. I'm not remembering um, when it's not my face. But now since it's completely my face, oh, yeah, yeah, we can do this. It's not a big deal. Anyway, so <clears throat> next, we um, after I get my things and faculties. Oh, by the way, I went to go pay, and they were like, oh, yeah, this is cash only. I'm like, perfect, that's fine. I gave him a $100 bill, and he was like, oh, I was not expecting that. I was like, yeah, sorry. Uh, lo siento. <laughs> I was like, I, again, I was not planning on coming here. I was going to go to a restaurant, like a regular restaurant, like sit down restaurant. I was not planning on having fast food in day one, but, or me getting here, but I need to get, I need to get to where I need to get to in a hurry. Because again, I know, cause I already looked at the reviews of this Airbnb I'm staying at. The roads are not the best. And I knew that. Anyway, I got my food. Off to the races we going. By the way, it's still raining a lot. And there's parts of the uh, road that like has water everywhere. And, oh, side note. For those who are not as familiar, Puerto Rico um, had a major hurricane quite a few years ago. Um, the same time Texas had a hurricane. The United States put their money in Texas, but they didn't really put the money into Puerto Rico, even though Puerto Rico's U.S. territory. Anyway, as a result, though, a lot of things are still not really recovered from that, including, like, roads. So, driving was interesting, but I'm going to say this. If you lived in Boston, and you drive in Boston area... Also, if you live in Chicago, you're okay. You're okay. The winding was a little scary, though. But other than that, the roads, the roads itself are not horrible. Because I'm used to Chicago roads, and the roads in Chicago are horrible. <laughs> but at least there was light. Um, so the thing that was tricky about driving to get to where I need to go to after I got to Wendy's was like there was no light. And parts of getting to where I need to go to were back roads. And so I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mind you, it's already dark. Because it's, again, because it's storming, it's dark. And I'm like, this is horrible. <laughs> but I finally did get to where I need to go to. Once I got here, it was pretty seamless and easy to get into. Um, 
pretty secure location. Thank God. Um, I was a little worried about that. I was like, I hope this Airbnb is pretty secured so I could just like really relax and like unwind. I got into this Airbnb once I got everything in here and I felt immediately settled. I was like, okay, <sighs> the vacation can start. I can start to get to get some rest. I can start feeling better because when I tell you how zen this place is, it's so zen. Um, let me show you what, what, what we're working with here. I'm gonna show you. Wonder why my mind keeps on spinning. This is 